We're going to be very strong on background checks. We're going to be doing very strong background checks. Very strong emphasis on the mental health of somebody. And uh, we are going to do plenty of other things. It's been going on too long, too many instances. And we're going to get it done. This solution is not going to be a singular thing. It's going to be multifaceted, and it's going to be created by a collection of different people working together. And people are dying, and we have to stop this. We have to stop. If, if he's not old enough to buy a drink, to, to go and buy a beer, he should not be able to buy a gun at 18 years old. Fix it. It should have been one school shooting, and we should have fixed it. And I'm pissed. Because my daughter, I'm not going to see you again. The president ha holding a very emotional listening session at the White House earlier today on the issue of school safety, mass shootings. Joining us now with Reaction, Fox News contributor Tommy Lahren is with us. Turning Point USA founder Charlie Kirk and RNC spokesman Carly McEnany are with us. I, to me, the solution is simple is that every school should have a full threat assessment, security assessment, retired armed military, retired armed police need to be in the schools to be a front line of defense, and many said that tonight. Well, I think that that's the logical solution, but at any time of tragedy, it's filled with emotion, as it should be. I think we should all be very honest with ourselves. This is a tragic time, and we need to let the victims grieve. We need to let the families grieve. We need to let them speak. I think everybody here, because we're First Amendment advocates, believe that everybody on either side of the issue has the right to speak about these issues, and we can come to some kind of a consensus. But I do think that we also need to tackle the cultural problems at play. It's not just a gun problem, and we should be able to have that conversation. It's got to be full, but... If we decided, Charlie, that we wanted every single school in America safe, we could do that. We, we're capable of doing big things. You bring a great point about the threat assessment. It's amazing how many of these schools have not been, been properly analyzed, and they don't even know in, what to do in the case of a horrific shooting. But in, in moments like these, this will really define the nation's character and what our founding principles are. We, we should be deeply troubled by what happened, but we also have to stay principled to what we, as freedom-loving Americans, really believe. And this is really where it's going to take us to, to, to double down and say, you know what? We do think we should have mental health checks, but we shouldn't sacrifice our Second Amendment rights. For Haley. But there's common sense, like you said, these threat assessments, securing these schools. We, we heard Mr. Pollock just then, who lost his daughter in that soundbite. He said, when 9-11 happened, guess what? We secured our airports. It should have only taken one of these, not several. And I just want to point out Daryl Scott. I sit on the board of Rachel's Challenge. Yeah. He lost his daughter, Rachel, and the Columbine massacre. He's been working on solutions for 20 years. And when, when Tommy talks about a cultural change, she's spot on there because we've lost this sense of connection with one another, respect for your fellow student, your classmate is your friend. That needs to be implemented more than have anything. Have you ever gotten That's a dinner? I mean, you're right. We, we, we sit there. Everyone around the whole table is this. Yep. It's right. crazy. Exactly. Right? It's, it's an awareness issue beyond yeah. that as well. Whether we're talking about terrorism, we're talking about school shootings, safety in general, it's an awareness issue. Like you mentioned, people are buried in their phones. They're not paying attention. They're taking pictures. They're on Instagram. They're not seeing what's around them. And that leads to, you know, less safety in our schools, in our airports, in our malls, on the streets. We, it's so easy. If we wanted to do it, we'd do it. That's right. And you could take the guns away, which I don't think is a good idea, and it's a near impossibility. But you can't take the evil away, which is what the culture issue is all about. Well and, said. And, and be very, be very careful in moments like these to give away your freedoms. Because when you do, you're never going to get them you back. Last word, Kaylee. Yeah. You mentioned evil. Evil. We've taken God out of our schools, right. and you take God out of this society, and you will see more and more of this happen on a daily basis. Right. All right, exactly right. I really do. It's great to see three young people, and there's so many that, that, will, that are coming to CPAC, uh, which opened today, and they'll be here for the vice president tomorrow, the president on Friday. You guys are definitely helping the country in ways you can't even measure now. Thank you all for what you do.